A question we often get when attending community meetings is what can I do about my neighbor that I know is dealing drugs out of his house? Of course you can report it to any patrol station, but don't forget the TIPS hotline is always available. Once the call is made, citizens often expect to see an officer pulling up to the suspect's house moments later. We thought we would give you a window of how the process works. We begin with Officer Kevin Baim at Crime Stoppers. We would take that information, we put it in the form of a, a report that is then forwarded on to the particular investigative agency that's handling that crime, in this case the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department's Narcotics Unit. Any information that's received to the TIPS hotline would be eligible for a cash reward up to $1,000 uh, depending on where the arrest is made and uh, the circumstances involving that arrest. Once the call is forwarded to KCPD, it is immediately sent to the appropriate unit. Sergeant Renee Reyes explains. Well, once we receive a complaint or a TIPS hotline call, those uh, complaints are reviewed and then forwarded to the applicable squad. If someone calls in a complaint, we ask that person if they would like to leave their name or if they would like it to be anonymous. We do not require anybody to leave their name. It's only if they want to be contacted with uh, the outcome of the situation, then we by all means will recontact them. Whenever it's assigned to the detective, they don't just use that phone call. They'll go and um, do surveillance on the location, contact other neighbors in the area, contact the officers that work the area to see if there's actually that kind of activity in the area or at that location. And then we also use other intelligence databases to confirm who's living there, what kind of activity they have, and other several other means before we actually just act on it. A lot of times we do get phone calls at the unit, people wanting to know about complaints that they've made and saying that they don't see any police activity. What I try to explain to them is the majority of the stuff that the, my unit, the street crimes unit or the drug enforcement unit do it, are things that you would not detect. A normal citizen would not detect the police activity. Um, every single complaint is worked on. A lot of times we'll get complaints from several different people on the same location. They're all compiled together. We're constantly checking the databases on complaints that keep recurring, that, um, that specify a lot of violent activity. We try to target those immediately. Um, we get, I would say, hundreds of complaints a day, and so those are always, like I said, sorted out and sent on to the detectives that are applicable to that situation. I always encourage people to call in and make complaints when they see activity or situations. It doesn't necessarily have to be drug activity. It could be any kind of criminal activity call it in to Crime Stoppers, call it in to TIPS, um, call your local station, uh, police station, and let them know that there's, because any station can take complaints, and it can be any time of criminal activity. Call it in, let us know, and we will absolutely act on that right away. If you call a station, officers can, depending on the type of criminal activity you see, they could respond right there at the moment, at that moment. Um, depending on the, like I said, on the criminal activity, it may take, you know, a couple of days for it to get forwarded to us, to the drug units or to the gun units, but we'll get that information and we will act on it. Everyone has the right to live in a safe environment. For the sake of you, your family, and your other neighbors, don't let illegal drug activities destroy your neighborhood. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week.